Hello and welcome to this short biopsychology topic video looking at the endocrine system. For this part of the course you need to be able to outline the function of the endocrine system including the different glands and hormones in the body. Therefore it's important to know what hormones are released by the different glands in the human body and what effect these hormones have on us. So let's begin. What is the endocrine system? The endocrine system is a network of glands across the body that secrete chemical messages called hormones. As you can see from the diagram on screen now, the endocrine system is made up of many glands, including the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the thyroid gland, and so on. Now while you do not need to know all of these glands, it is important that you know a small selection, including what hormone they release and what effect this has. I recommend that you understand the role of the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, the adrenal glands, as well as the ovaries and the testicles. In other words, if you're going to miss two out, miss out the thyroid gland and the pineal gland. Now, unlike the nervous system, the endocrine system uses blood vessels to transport hormones around the body to a specific target cell, and different hormones have different effects. The word hormone actually comes from the Greek word hormeo, which just means excite, as hormones excite or stimulate part of the human body. Before we begin, it's worth noting that some glands produce multiple different hormones. And in this video, we're going to focus on the main hormones released by the major glands in the human body. So let's start by taking a look at the role of the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is connected to the pituitary gland and is responsible for stimulating or controlling the release of hormones from the pituitary gland. Now it does this by sending a signal to the pituitary gland which causes this gland to secrete a stimulating hormone into the bloodstream, which then targets a particular gland within the endocrine system. Now don't worry if you're confused here, because we're going to look at the pituitary gland in more detail in a moment. Therefore what you could say is that the hypothalamus is really the control system that regulates the entire endocrine system. Now let's look more closely at the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is sometimes known as the master gland because the hormones released by the pituitary gland actually control and stimulate the release of hormones from other glands in the endocrine system. Now to give you an example, the pituitary gland may send a signal to the adrenal glands to stimulate the release of adrenaline. However, to make matters slightly more complex, the pituitary gland is also divided into two sections with each section releasing a different hormone. As you can see from the picture on screen now, the pituitary gland is divided into the anterior, which just means front, and posterior, which means rear lobes. Uh, and both of these release a different hormone. A key hormone released from the anterior lobe is the adrenocorticotrophic hormone, ACTH, which stimulates the adrenal cortex to release cortisol during the stress response. Now, if you're going to study stress as an optional topic this year, you're going to learn more about this then. A key hormone released from the posterior lobe is oxytocin, which is often known as the love hormone, and this is responsible for uterus contractions during childbirth. Research also suggests, rather interestingly, that the levels of oxytocin increase when you cuddle someone you love. Now let's turn our attention to the pineal gland and the thyroid gland. Now remember at the start of the video I recommended learning a small selection of glands within the endocrine system in more detail. And while it might be useful or interesting to know about these glands, I personally recommend you focus your attention on the other glands first. The main hormone released from the pineal gland is melatonin, which is responsible and important for biological rhythms, including our sleep and waking cycle. Now interestingly, light affects how much melatonin your body produces, and during the sh shorter days of winter months, your body may produce less melatonin than usual. This could lead to symptoms of seasonal affective disorder, otherwise known as SAD, or what's known as winter depression. The thyroid gland releases thyroxine, which is responsible for regulating metabolism. People who have a really fast metabolism typically struggle to put on weight as their metabolism is involved in chemical processes which convert food into energy. OK, let's look at the adrenal glands which are located just above the kidneys. Now it's important to understand the function of the adrenal glands as these are linked to the next part of the course, the fight or flight response. The adrenal gland is divided into two parts. You have the adrenal medulla, which is on the inside of the gland, and the adrenal cortex, which is the outer layer of the gland. The adrenal medulla is responsible for releasing adrenaline and noradrenaline, 
which plays a key role in preparing the body for fight or flight, for example by increasing our heart rate, dilating our pupils and so on. Whereas the adrenal cortex releases cortisol, which stimulates the release of glucose to provide the body with energy, while also suppressing the immune system. Again, if you're studying stress as an optional unit, you'll learn more about this then. Finally, let's take a look at the male and female sex organs, the testes and the ovaries. The testes release androgens, which include the main hormone testosterone. Now, as many of you know, testosterone is responsible for the development of male sex characteristics during puberty and also promotes muscle growth. The ovaries, on the other hand, release oestrogen, which controls the regulation of female reproductive system, including the menstrual cycle and pregnancy. So there you have it. In this short topic video, we've examined the hormones which are released by the different glands in the body and the effects these hormones have on our body. On screen now, you'll see a summary table with the main glands, the main hormones released, and the effects that these hormones have, which may provide a useful revision table. Thank you for watching this short biopsychology topic video. For more topic videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter to keep up to date uh, using the Twitter address at TutorTuePsych. Thank you.